Hello and welcome to the Global Racing Team News Weekly Update, your one-stop shop for all of what's going on this week in the greatest racing team on Earth. I'm JD, your pun-loving, TT-driving, 10-facts-spewing, graphics-making, and now digital-animating chicken-obsessed racer you all know and love. So before we go into our recap, we'd like to mention our sponsors for today's video. We are brought to you by Kazi and Racer, school for kids who can't drive good and who want to learn to do other stuff good too. Logo pending. Do you suck at stuff? Want to get gooder? This is the goodest place to do it. Are you slow at racing? Do you not know how to speak good despite this being your first and only language like myself? Well, this is the school for you. You'll learn to drive fast and do a wide variety of tasks goodly. So enroll today. Group 4 Season 3 Round 2 took on Fuji in an incredible race that pitted the Porsches and Ferraris against each other, and sadly the Renault, while putting up a valiant fight, struggled along that long straight. After getting pole, Kazi managed a phenomenal race with a winning strategy, taking first place, followed by Rob and Mikey in the gold split, and Marmite taking first after an argy-bargy pass with Rocketman that was overturned by the stewards, who got second, with Racer in third in the silver split. The sprint was a different story, with Wrighton taking a second sprint win in his Ferrari, followed by Kazi and Hippie in the gold split, and Rocketman taking first, Josh taking second, and Racer taking third in the silver split. Great racing, boys! Super Formula was postponed this week after an emergency hospital visit for Mikey's missus that night after becoming very ill. She seems to be doing better, but we wish her and Mikey all the best. But, and this is an exclusive from an anonymous source, <coughs> teach. <coughs> Super Formula will conclude this weekend, where we will run the last two rounds of races at both tracks. 30 minutes at Red Bull Ring and 30 minutes at Fuji Short, both races double points, as there will be no sprint and sadly no rain. Tej, er, um, I mean my anonymous source, says that more will be explained in Discord, so tune in for that. Monday night, the boys went to Minecraft where they mined for things and crafted things. Mash discovered what Lapis looked like, and also found out why you don't dump a bucket of lava in a wooden mansion. We got to see all their lovely redecorated rooms, and they tried to get to the next level with their designs by redoing the stairs. Ha ha ha! But we'll have to revisit that next time. Maybe go check out stairporn.org for inspiration. Yes, that is a legitimate site. Although it now redirects you to eestairs.com. Same thing, shows a bunch of inspiration. It's pretty cool. I mean, check, check it out up on the screen here. My first year architecture professor is the one that showed it to the class and I still crack up at the original name. <laughs> it was the best. Tuesday night had the two Fury Cup lobbies. While there was minimal showing in the first lobby, scheduling is always fun across all time zones, Cassie managed to win followed by Enra and Jack. In the second lobby, Mash again secured another win for Splish Splash, followed by Seal and Hippie. We also have fancy new points! Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, chickens! As you can see, Splish Splash Racing is in the lead, followed by Mad Racing and Marm's Chicken Farm for the teams, and Privateers Kazi and Enra aren't far behind. Wednesday night, we had the Yaris Cup Finale. This was an interesting series that involved rounds and using ballast as a leveler between racers. At the end of the day, Kazi managed to come out on top with points, followed by Seal and Swales. And we congratulate Kazi on being the inaugural champion for the Yaris Cup. A new car and a new championship will be coming soon. Also, with it being Wednesday, it was also Wreckfest, but, as I am a consummate professional in journalism, I miss the video because I'm working from home, but have to commute to my parents' house because they decided to go on vacation and I'm watching their dogs, resulting in a longer commute than if I was just working in the office. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for all of your accommodations. 
Thursday night, we had the weekly races. It was quite fun, and due to my working arrangement, worked out that I could race on my lunch break. Silver linings. It was fun racing a bunch of different cars on different tracks, and I think I managed to get 8th every time. Any new people here should check it out, as it's on GT Sport at probably 9pm GRT, 4pm Eastern Standard, and 1pm Pacific. Well, that will do it for now, and sadly, I know no music this time. So, the Marm's Chicken Farm Chicken Chorus, try saying that five times fast, will not be performing tonight. <coughs> but, that will do it for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. We will be taking next week off, given Christmas is coming and I have things I need to do. So, maybe the following week. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you on the track. Hey, we had fun making this little recap. Shout out to my buddy Wes for the artwork of my beautiful face that he drew. It's beautiful because he drew it, not because of me. Uh, check out his Instagram, it's at Wes Hancock. It'll be down in the description below. Uh, you can also join our Discord and become a part of the GRT community. So do all the youtube -y things, give a like and a subscribe, leave a comment and share this around with your friends. And we'll see you next week and hope to see you on the track.